one. Shalom, shalom. And first and foremost, I want to go all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakhakodash. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace I take to the hopeful, 144,000 and one third men and children in order. This is Shemariah Allah. Hey, and uh, back at you with another video. Uh, this time, we're going to go into the word doubt and uh, the importance of having faith and uh, trust in Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai in the times to come. You know, we're, we're, we're heading down. Um, we're headed to a time of Jacob's trouble, which uh, will happen. Uh, they will be imp implementing this MOTB, uh, you know, the, the mark of the beast um, and that, that C hip. Um, also, you know, uh, before that, they got other things popping off. Uh, again, as I said, Jacob's trouble. You got another uh, another round of this uh, this uh, the the. the uh, the, the C19 juice that they're they putting out here, um, you know, so and, and having to get them VACs. And so and there's going to be another lockdown coming up, man. So, you know, in these times, in these perilous times, man, we must remain faithful and trust in, in, in Yahweh, Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, all right? You got you got a precept about it? Yeah. Uh, it's the book of Sirach. Or uh, known as Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, uh -huh. um, chapter 1. And I'm going to start at verse 23 and I'm going to read it down. Uh -huh. All right, Sirach 1 and 23, it says, A patient man will bear for a time, and afterward joy shall spring up unto him. See, uh -huh. we can apply this to ourselves because what did the Lord say? He said, uh, patiently wait on him. All right, uh -huh. it is uh, like it said in Lamentations, the third chapter. It is good that a man should both hope and uh, roughly paraphrasing that a man should hope in the Lord. So the Lord says a patient man will bear for a time. We're bearing this time. We're bearing captivity. We're in Esau's rulership where we got to bear it. We got to suffer it, man. That's right. All right. And joy is going to spring up on us when the kingdom arrives, when we're delivered out of captivity. But reading down verse 24, he will hide his words for a time and the lips of many shall declare his wisdom. The parables of knowledge are in the treasures of wisdom, but godliness is an abomination to a sinner. Uh, so the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is a treasure, mm -hmm. right? And we, we take, we um, you know, a part of us having faith and not doubting is believing in what we've been taught through the Spirit of the Lord. That's right. right? Because, of course, what does it say in Isaiah 33? Wisdom and knowledge is... To I was going to grab, let me grab that real quick. Salakia. Well, Bear with me, Salakia. All right. Uh, this is Isaiah 33 and 6, and it reads, it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is his treasure. That's this knowledge and his truth. That's right. It's the, the, uh, the parables and the similitudes and the breakdowns we've been taught mm -hmm. by the men that have uh, learned this truth before us. All right. Starting with the elder apostles on down, okay, and they were, of course, taught the understanding through the, the elders that came before them. Mm -hmm. but, um, the Lord says this wisdom and knowledge, the words and the scriptures that um, we, ho we hold near and dear to our hearts and our spirits, man, that's going to be our stability. It's what's going to keep us grounded when everybody else is bugging out and going crazy. Uh, and so then that, you know, we, we, we're not going to have that doubtful spirit because we have the understanding and we know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? We paid attention to the signs. We've uh, we've we built up our faith by trusting uh, in, in Yahweh Shai and how Yahweh why Yahweh Shai has shown us and given us uh, faith boosters over the time that we are, have, have been in this truth. Uh, you go into that word stability. It says the state of being st the state of being stable, firmness, balanced. So when you think of something, a balanced mind. Yeah, kind of. Um, like a, I don't know whether it be a chair whether it be something um, that, that, that needs to be stable on all sides, it has mm -hmm. to be evened out. It has to be leveled to the ground mm -hmm. for it to, to be stable. Man. Right. So for this knowledge and this truth, our foundation mm -hmm. is the faith in Yahweh Shai. Without that faith, man, you ain't got nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay? It says sturdiness, security, safety. So, you know, safety. 
the the understanding the, the, those scriptures, understanding those those deep dark sayings in that in that in that Bible, man. Um, being able to break it down, being able to understand your how is shy and what he's planning on doing is when he come back. That's gonna keep you stable. That's gonna keep your mind fixated on enduring until the end because you know there's a uh, there's an exit to this thing, you know. And and that exit is uh, the, the salvation that we believe in that we will be saved during the times to come, during Jacob's trouble and during when those missiles come in, and when this devil come down on us. With great wrath, as the scriptures say. Go ahead, Slaki. Sure I'm going to finish this. God. Uh, started at 23, I'm going to read down to 29. But, I, I got uh, it. It says, the parables of knowledge are in the treasures of wisdom. Mm -hmm. but godliness is an abomination to a sinner. We understand that our enemies, okay, our number one enemy being Esau, Edom, and the other nations, they look at this truth, all right, holiness, righteousness, as an abomination. And, of course, two-thirds of the nation of Israel. That's right. Talkers, man. That's right. Uh, verse 26. If thou desire wisdom, keep the commandments. So we're supposed to rehearse the righteous acts. That's how we obtain wisdom, man. Okay? By obtaining, by uh, rehearsing the righteous acts that the Lord gave us in the scriptures. Let me keep going. And the Lord shall give her unto thee, her being who? Sophia. Wisdom. All right? It says, for the fear of the Lord is wisdom and instruction, uh -huh. and faith and meekness are his delight. Okay? So... The Lord delights in uh, humility, all mm -hmm. right, and, and faith. And he also said that uh, the fear of the Lord is wisdom and instruction, all right, because, of course, we're being taught, we're unraveling, we're unlearning the things we've been taught for 30 years. Mm -hmm. And this truth is help, is giving us a new mind, a new way of thinking, all right, where we're, we're growing in our understanding. Let me keep going. Verse 28, did, here's the point, distrust not the fear of the Lord when thou art poor. And come not unto him with a double heart. So the fear of the Lord, you can't you you can't come to the Lord double minded, all right, and uh, unstable. Quick, the Lord can see through that. Quick precept, quick precept. Go ahead. This is a Hebrews eleven and six. It says, "But without faith, it is impossible to please him." Right. That's believing in things that are unseen. You know, you got to believe, even if you haven't seen it. You still got to believe in it, man, because you have to understand something. The Lord has not really going to like really move on the earth like he's going to. And so like when that time come, you got to have the mindset to already see it happening before it comes. And it, when it comes, you're going to be that much more uh, in, 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 in a, um, that much more excited because of what the Lord has told you is true. It says, for he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is. A lot of these people don't believe that, that the Lord is real. They don't believe in these scriptures. So they're, they're, they're going to be dismayed. They're going to be bugged out during that time when all this stuff is happening because they already don't have a, uh, have faith in what the scriptures are talking about. Hold on. It says and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And how are we diligently seeking him? Through, through reading, the studying, and to searching out these the, 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 these uh, the understandings of the scriptures. And that's why it says... Uh, 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 knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thine times. Of thy times. That's lucky. And we also seek him by doing the work. That's by right. Diligently doing yep. the work. Highways and byways, filling the internet up with these videos. That's right. Just just showing our faith. Keeping our hands on that plow. Right. You know? But, um, you went into uh, those that, um, he that comes to the Lord must believe that he is. Yeah. So how it means he, he is. is. Yep. Or he to be he Verse 28, distrust not the fear of the Lord when thou art poor, and come not unto him with a double heart. So we in captivity. So mm -hmm. you are, we're in the lowest of the lowest estate. The Lord has brought us very low. So with us being in captivity under our enemies, we're not supposed to distrust the Lord when you learn the truth, mm -hmm. man. All right, because he's not, he's not going to, he can't deal with you that way, and you can't grow that way. Either, you got to be on that straight gate, too, man. You can't be wavering, going left and right, uh -huh. being tossed to and fro, you uh -huh. know. James 1 and 8 says a double-minded a double minded man is unstable Stable. in all his ways. That's man. right. All right, verse 29. Be not an hypocrite in the sight of men. You can be a hypocrite in your belief system, too, in the doctrines that you teach it. All right, and take good heed what thou speakest. Be mindful of what comes out of your mouth, because the Lord said... He is, oh, he is, he is the uh, one that, that weighs your words in the balance, man. Okay, and you're going to be rewarded, rewarded according to your ways, man. Okay, mm -hmm. verse 30, exalt not thyself, lest thou fall, 
and bring dishonor upon thy soul. And so the Most High discover thy secrets and cast thee down in the midst of the congregation mm -hmm. because thou camest not in truth to the mm -hmm. fear of the Lord, but thy heart is full of deceit. If you're teaching doctrines that you know are detrimental to our nation, if you are saying things that you know are not true, man, the Lord says he's going to catch up with you, all right? And his judgment is going to come down on you. That's why applying to this lesson, all right, you can't doubt. You can't waver, all right? What you've been taught through the Holy Spirit, you got to believe it 100%, man. Because the Lord can tell if you look warm about it. You got to be on fire. I got a precept real quick. Uh, this, is, this is John 4 and 23. It says, but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. You know? Uh -huh. And so, uh, as the brother was going into, you know, the, we're, you have to worship him in truth and spirit. You got you you have you have to be transparent. You gotta be, you gotta believe without a doubt, man. You can't come into this thing uh, with a with a with a like you said with a double minded uh, uh, mindset. Yeah. You know, it says the Most High is is a spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. No guile in your mouth, man. Um, you cannot add and take away any to these scriptures. You know, you can't be teaching false doctrines. You know, like some of these camps out here that saying they won't be no Jacob's trouble, who don't believe in the miracles of Yahweh Shai, you know, who don't believe, who don't like, who don't believe in that there's being chariots, who believe that they're they're gonna usher in the new kingdom on the earth in the carnal mindset. That's not spiritual. These men are spiritual. These men are carnal. What they say about a, a, a carnal man is uh, enmity with the Most High. You are adverse. You are against the Most High. In so many ways. Go ahead, Axelaki. So you have on that? Yep. You got anything else? All right. Um, I'm going to just grab this really quick. Okay. Uh, so, uh, this is Sirach chapter 21 and verse 11. It says, He that keepeth the law of the Lord getteth the understanding thereof, and the perfection of the fear of the Lord is wisdom. All right? In your, your, your daily life, your daily steps, the way you treat people, all right? The way you respond in, the way you communicate in, all right? It shows, mm -hmm. all right? The, the, way, the, the way you keep the law, the way you rehearse the righteous acts, man. All right? Your understanding is going to show according to the way you move every day. Mm -hmm. Verse 12, he that is not wise will not be taught. Mm -hmm. But there is a wisdom which multiplieth bitterness. All right? The knowledge of a wise man shall abound like a flood. Okay? And his counsel is like a pure fountain of life. There's a purity to this truth, man, that cannot be explained um, or bought at the corner store, man. It's something that has to be given to you from the heavenly realm, okay? So when, when that's given to you, um, to doubt is to give it back, all right? And to say that it, it is of uh, no benefit, man, all right? The Lord takes no pleasure in a, in a, in a fearful heart, all right? Someone who, 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 who doesn't trust and believe that he is and that he controls all things. Yeah, you know? you're, you're, you're a useless vessel because uh -huh. you become... How can he use you if you don't believe? You won't even do it. We 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 do because we believe. We we we're, we sacrifice on that altar every Saturday. We put put our, ourselves down on living sacrifices by doing the work because we believe, man. And what it says it says what what is faith? What's faith without works? It's and dead. You're uh -huh. death if you don't believe. You if you doubt. Ooh. You're useless. I got a precept real quick. Go ahead. Maybe think of something through the spirit. Go ahead. Doc. All right, this is Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 16. Mm -hmm. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. All right, so if you wander out of the way of understanding, you've cast it away, all right, everlasting life. Let's go right? again. So Proverbs 21 and 16, all right? And the man that wandered out of the way of understanding, you weren't part of the elect to begin with, man, all right? Mm -hmm. The Lord says you're going to remain in the congregation of the dead, meaning you're going to be amongst those Israelites that are dead from the neck up, all right? You, you, you scoffing at GMS, running your mouth about the elders and the apostles and the bishops and teachers when they have the Holy Spirit and the Lord is dealing with them, That's right. all right? And you, you, you've decided to, to cast, the, cast that away. Mm -hmm. The Lord says you're going to remain in the congregation of the dead, the spiritually dead, yeah, you the two-thirds that don't know the truth. Who, who, who the Lord ain't dealing with and ain't never going to deal with. They literally just stepped on it like it wasn't worth anything. Mm -hmm. and it, was their, it was their salvation, right. you know.
But yeah. The end all be all is to trust in the Lord, man. That's right. All right. Have faith. Don't doubt. I think you had something in Proverbs 3 or, or uh, precept you had mentioned. Uh, no, that's it. That's it. Right. We can close it out. All right. All right. Well, um, yeah, go ahead. You close it out. I, I close it out. But, uh, you know, like, like like we said, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. All right. To you brothers out there. All right. We're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakudash. Give honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who do rule and teach well that have taught us his truth. And Shalom to you, hopeful elect out there. Hey, Shalom. Until next time, Shalom. Baba Ball. Baba Ball.